oldguytalks.com is all about being a better man. Join me on this kick-ass journey. Exclusive stuff for members only in the Old Guy Cave. Opt in now. This is Orse, the old guy from www.oldguytalks.com here at Nelson's Meat and Fish Market in Phoenix, Arizona. So, um, you know, Mother's Day is coming up and uh, everybody goes and they go to these restaurants. It's kind of like Valentine's Day. You go to these restaurants, you get uh, jacked up prices, long lines, lots of crowds, things like that. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people have a good time with this. So we're gonna do something different. We normally avoid that, that hassle. Uh, and I'm gonna be, we're gonna be making breakfast uh, or brunch at home. And today, I'm out here buying some uh, some salmon. So you can take a look here. This is a beautiful display here at Nelson's. You got a well worth the trip just to come by. And uh, Chris Nelson is the owner. I'm gonna probably interview him later on. Uh, so not, not right now, because he's busy getting ready. But uh, I'm gonna make my own locks. We're gonna have big old locks, and uh, we're almost maybe have some other stuff. Obviously, we're gonna have a Bloody Mary and all that. But I want to get a really, really high quality piece of salmon to do that. And uh, instead of so I'm gonna go through the whole recipe, I'm gonna show you that tomorrow. Uh, what the process is for making your own locks. Uh, I got a special way, and it's gonna be with uh, so, some Himalayan salt blocks. And uh, you may have seen my uh, YouTube video on uh, cooking with Himalayan salt block. What we're gonna do is make locks with it and uh, we'll show you how that whole process. So I'm gonna start now, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that, get that home, and start the process tomorrow. So stay tuned on Rob Locks and how the old guy makes it and getting ready to celebrate uh, Mother's Day. So take care, remember, it's all about creating a kick-ass life for yourself and those that you love. And now for Ryan to tell you how to pick a proper piece of salmon. Okay, so what we're using in our program is a Faroe Island scent. Okay, Faroe Islands are north of Scotland, south of Greenland, and it's a farm-raised product. I told this old man that there's a lot of misnomers and stigmas about a farm-raised product, but this is a superior aquaculture product. It is controlled down to the feeding, down to the cull time. This old guy tells me he wants a nice fish. This fish is coming from a 20 to 25 pound animal. Be able to mature, be able to develop its fat, develop its flavor. The feed has been controlled down to the percentage of what crude protein and what sugars are getting. Highly, highly desirable fish. The other end of it is that sashimi grade fish in Maricopa County has to be frozen if there's a wild caught creature. Wild salmon has to be frozen for seven days below seven below zero. So it's a real dicey thing if you want to have it or not. So farm raised from a good place, know the source, know your butcher, know your fishmonger, know where you're getting your stuff, and you can always be set up. All right, thank you, Ryan. Opt in and encourage other old guy assholes like you to opt in also.